Good morning. I wanted to share something with you that I pray will bring light to where many of you are in the building process. There's something very important I want you to see and understand. It is vitally important that you trust the strategies of the Holy Spirit about transition. If you are to transition or not, and if so, how? How you build, how you plan, how you develop, how you innovate, how you adjust. Because the apostolic is a grace that is so organically, supernaturally flexible. It will amaze people how many times an apostolic individual can reinvent one mission by developing and emerging with new ideas and new innovation. It's not so much a new thing, so to speak. It's really the same vision, the same assignment, but it has been flexed by the Spirit of God to appear as if it's something different. It's kind of like how the Lord allowed the angels of the Lord to take on personality and individuality, to get a message to individuals in the Word of God at a particular period of time. The Bible talks about the visitors that came to give Abraham and Sarah a message concerning Isaac. The Bible says that in the beginning of their conversation, they didn't really understand that they were talking to the angels of the Lord. They thought these were just messengers with some type of prophetic word. So whenever we walk in that same apostolic grace pattern of the Lord Jesus Christ, we're able to present things in new innovative ways that look like a new thing. But it's the one self same assignment that God gave us in the beginning. I want to applaud you in your ability to remain steadfast in that one assignment God gave you and to build that to reinvent it by listening to the Holy Spirit on how you remanufacture that vision based on the time and season you're in and where you're currently planted because it's God that changes the seasons the Bible says times and seasons are in the Lord's hands so whenever God changes the times and seasons with that changing of the time and season God downloads in you another chapter of the playbook another chapter of the strategy of the spirit for the one thing that he's given you called purpose just like chapters are found in a book the more you read that particular book the more understanding you get from the one title that's on the front of the cover and I don't think you've seen the magnitude of the title that's on the front of the cover of your life the book that you're doing the book that you're living the book that you're experiencing ministry through when we look at what happened in Genesis 26, when Isaac goes back to redig the wells of his father Abraham, that's very important because he goes back to reclaim the father's assignment. He goes back to reclaim the father's assignment in redigging a well that water was once in. And when he first begins reclaiming the father's assignment, he comes in contact with the first well, Isaac, which means contention. When the Philistines fought over that well, he moves on to another well. He calls that well Sitna, meaning hatred. They fought over that well too, but he keeps on digging. He's fighting through contention. He's fighting through hatred in the region, in the land that he knew he had a right to. He moves on to the third well and discovers they've stopped fighting him meaning the territory the region had opened up to him and that's where he calls that well Rehoboth the Lord's made room the well of open spaces so if you can persevere long enough or to the point where the region opens its space to you I'm not just talking about land I'm talking about its space because there's a level of air property that God wants to give you air a-I-R air isn't that something you could own air if you think about it in a real estate terms and if you research it even in our understanding it is possible to own air real estate so I want you to be encouraged today and make the innovative and the creative changes that is necessary for you to remain planted I don't think many people understand that we have the ability to make innovative and creative changes to remain steadfast in the area that God's planted us. We don't move just because an area is resistant. We find a method of technology that cannot be denied and then we press forward. And when you get in there, 
you'll be able to construct the full image of what God has placed in your heart.